TV drill. <laughs> Hi, this is Miles Grant at the National Wildlife Federation with all the latest climate news presented in convenient capsule form. Well, up first this week, if you like poison ivy, just wait till you find out about the new and improved poison ivy that climate change has in store for us. Poison ivy is just one of the many plants and animals that stand to benefit from our warming world, as detailed in the National Wildlife Federation's new Climate Invaders report. Also on the list, bark beetles and sheet grass that fuel wildfires and ticks that spread Lyme disease. It's not too late to take action. We need to do two things. First, we need to reduce our global warming emissions dramatically. That way we can avoid the worst case scenarios of these species proliferating and causing more harm. The second thing that we need to do is help safeguard wildlife and ourselves from the impacts of climate change by taking an active role in conservation. Another new National Wildlife Federation report, this one on biofuels. Our current federal biofuels policies have created an unsustainable first generation of biofuels. This report calls for a new set of policies that will create next generation low carbon energy sources. And I should be joined by Dirty the Global Warring Denying Sock Puppet, but Dirty, where are you down there? Whoa. Drill, baby, drill! <laughs> Here, let me take that. You're going to hurt yourself. Drill, baby, drill! <laughs> uh, are you excited about the Obama administration's plans to open up our coast to drilling? Drill here, drill now, pay less! Ah, uh, yes. That's what drilling advocates certainly would like us to believe, but we're only talking about a penny or two on the price of gasoline. It's big oil that's going to get the benefits, and we get all the risk. I mean, just look at how much Chesapeake Bay fishermen have protested this. Well, clearly we can save much more by drilling in the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge. Right, there's always someplace else where we could drill more and save more. At least that's what Big Oil would like us to believe. But the National Wildlife Federation looked at this and found even if you let Big Oil drill everywhere they want, it would only save a nickel off the cost of a gallon of gas. A nickel? Prices so low we're practically giving the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge away! Today! <laughs> Act now! Look, what we need is to develop a next generation of our vehicle fleet, plug-in electric, that can save consumers money. You know, save more, pollute less. How about that? Caribou, baby seals, let's drill them all! Yeah, yeah. why don't you hold this in your mouth oh, again? All right. <laughs> <laughs> The 40th anniversary of Earth Day is coming up on April 22nd, and now we're expecting not one, but two landmark environmental events that week. We already knew about the big rally planned for the National Mall on April 25th. And now Senator John Kerry says he'll have Senate clean energy and climate legislation ready to introduce that week. It's part of the tripartisan effort he's been working on with Senators Lindsey Graham and Joe Lieberman. You can show your support for clean energy and climate action by going to nwf.org slash revolution. Sign on to the Declaration of Energy Independence. It's all part of the big Earth Day revolution. Well, to learn more about these and other climate stories, go to wildlifepromise.org. Thanks for watching this week's National Wildlife Federation Climate Capsule.